Continuing with our introduction to MicroStation, we find ourselves in need of becoming familiar with the basic layout, tool locations, and functionality found in the MicroStation Connect edition. During this lesson, you will learn how to navigate the user interface in the MicroStation Connect edition. You will explore the backstage view, where you can find file properties, tools, settings, and much, much more. And you will also observe how MicroStation has an integrated ribbon search that will allow you to search across multiple workflows and ribbon tabs to find tools or dialogues. Continuing in the Topo RD DGN file, let's now review the ribbon style user interface. The MicroStation Connect Edition features a ribbon style user interface consisting of the following components a file tab, ribbon workflows, a quick access toolbar button groups, ribbon groups, ribbon buttons, a help tab, search, a minimize feature, dialog launchers, contextual tabs, and ribbon galleries. A knowledge of what these components are will be beneficial in your daily use of MicroStation. From the upper left corner of the application, observe the active workflow, Drawing. The MicroStation Connect Edition delivers five standard workflows. These include the Drawing workflow. This contains the most commonly used commands for creating, manipulating, and modifying basic elements such as lines, curves, polygons, and shapes. The Task Navigation Workflow. This is used to navigate tasks in the MicroStation Connect Edition that was typically created in earlier versions of MicroStation. When a 3D model is active, these workflows will be only visible. The Visualization Workflow. This provides access to lighting, materials, and rendering and animation tools that may be used when working with 3D geometry. And then the Modeling Workflow. This contains tools used for creating, manipulating, and modifying 3D elements. If the active file is a configured DGN library, as shown here, you will have the admin workflow. This provides access to administrative features such as text and dimension styles. Also included in the user interface is the quick access toolbar, an integrated ribbon search, and access to help. The Quick Access Toolbar contains frequently used commands such as Open, Save, and Print, with these tools being contained in the Quick Access. They are available independent of the active workflow. The Ribbon Search is used to find tools or dialogues. It can search across multiple workflows and ribbon tabs, search help topics, and access the Bentley communities. To search, Enter the partial or full name of the tool or dialog, and you will get a list of results with the given name in the window below the search field. As an example, let's type save. As you can see, the search results are categorized by the ribbon, the backstage view, the quick access toolbar. From the help tab, you can access help contents, which opens the web help in your default browser. On the Help Ribbon tab, you can also expect to see the following. Connect Advisor, the Feedback Service, Examples, and Social Media Links. Now, let's explore the backstage view. From the ribbon, pick the File tab. You are presented with the backstage view. The backstage view contains many important features such as file operations, access to tools, settings, and more. There are many important MicroStation features found in this location. The following are a few examples. The Packager will create a work set package composed of design files, references, and workspace files. The Batch Converter is used to convert from one file format to another. 
Preferences will set preferences and settings related to how MicroStation operates. Publish iModel is used to convert a design file into a i.dgn file and package a set of design and reference files into a single protected file. And help is used to access the various types of help such as connect advisor and product support. The backstage view is also the location where you can access the file properties. Here, let's pick properties. The Properties dialog opens, displaying information related to the active design file, such as scale and lock properties. This same dialog is used to display many types of property information in MicroStation. Now, go ahead and place the cursor over the title bar of the Properties dialog. Press and hold the left mouse button and begin dragging the dialog. Observe the docking indicators that are displayed in the view window. Properties may be docked into the MicroStation interface on either the right or left sides of the application window. Once docked into the interface, the dock dialog may be resized as well as pinned. Take note that multiple dialogs may be docked into the same docking region. So let's go ahead now and take a few moments to review the properties in the Properties dialog. Now, in Properties, locate the section Workset Properties. Here, we can see the workset properties that are assigned to a design file associated with the active work set. These are the same properties that we viewed from the work page and may be used in annotation commands. So now, let's go ahead and open the Backstage view by picking the File tab once again. The Backstage view contains many other tools and settings. Some are used to open additional toolboxes or provide access to printing and publishing features, while others allow you to optimize the way MicroStation operates. Be careful, making changes in certain areas of the Backstage view can affect other users. Contact your CAD management team for assistance. Let's take a moment now to talk about user preferences. From the Backstage, pick Settings, User, Preferences. And as you can see, the Preferences dialog opens. User preferences are settings that control the operation of MicroStation in ways that are specific to the active user and do not affect other team members. Contained here are settings that control mouse behavior, allow you to change view-related settings, and more. From here, we'll go ahead and select the Input category and then enable Escape Exits command. This is a convenient way of terminating the current command that you are working with. We will be using the escape key in this manner during this course. So now we can click the OK to close the preferences and press the escape key to return to the design canvas. Observe that MicroStation did not prompt to save changes to the preferences. While this is not true for all settings, changes made to preferences are saved automatically. This is similar to the behavior for changes made to the content of your drawing. Modifications to geometry in the drawing are also auto-saved. Changes made to other settings and properties may require that you exit and restart MicroStation to take effect. So we are now finished with the active design file, Topo RD, and we wish to close the file. So from the File tab, we can go ahead now and pick Close. During this lesson, you learned how to navigate the user interface in the MicroStation Connect Edition. It was seen that the MicroStation Connect Edition uses a ribbon-style user interface. The backstage was accessed and file properties were viewed, as well as observed the integrated ribbon search. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.